Hi, I'm Christopher Sabat, voice of this guy. And you're watching the Team Badman channel or something. Why are you so bored? What is up, YouTube people? Eric here with Team Badman, welcoming you back to what is going to be the final episode of our Team Badman Plays playthrough of Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Uh, if you guys have been sticking with us all the way through here, major props to you guys. I know sometimes it hasn't been easy, and you know, I've complained about the game not always being great, which, I mean, there are certainly flaws to it. Uh, but overall, it's it's actually been all right. I don't think I can really complain too much about the game. Uh, without just sounding really obnoxious at this point. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to knock everything out here uh, throughout the remainder of the game. So it's maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter. I don't know yet, but we're about to find out. So if you guys remember last time, uh, we knocked out Android 18, we knocked out uh, Android 17 with Piccolo, and we took care of Cell as Super Vegeta. So we are firmly into the Cell Saga at this point. Uh, the Cell games are about set up, and we are going to crank our way through the final act of this game, which is just going to be the Cell games. So, let's go ahead and get things rolling. We're going to start off by getting Gohan to become a Super Saiyan. If you guys are fans of Team 4 Star just like us, you'll have a little song playing in the back of your head about this right now. I guarantee that you've got it in your head. So... We're gonna go ahead here. We're gonna we're gonna get Gohan to transform. It's gonna be awesome. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Look at look at that. Look at that background. All right. Oh, that was rude. I wasn't ready. Really? Come on, man. Are you kidding? Have you had enough yet? There's hardly any time to even respond here. This is nuts. Oh, come on. No. Why can't it why will it not let me combo breaker here? <sighs> there. Now we're talking. Are you serious? Come on now. They use a Sentu Bean? Are you serious? Oh my god. I'm glad I saved this for last because this is going to be the most rage inducing episode yet. I guarantee it. Just gotta kite him. Just gotta kite him all the way through. Oh, and now it'll combo breaker, and I'm not gonna be able to get it. Come on. What you get for wasting one of my Senzu beans? Whoever decided to design that mechanic into the game as a level should be taken out back and beaten with a wet noodle. Already said that at one point, but <sighs> I need to take a drink after that one. Alright, so we are off into the Cell games. Truly the final act here. So now, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna actually have us fight with Goku first, or if we're gonna go straight in as Gohan. I really don't know yet. From the way it's looking, it's gonna be right into Gohan. Nope, nope, we are starting with Goku. All, all Cell... Hang on, wait. What? All Cell Juniors must be stunned 
simultaneously. I mean, so do I, like, need them to all come here? This is only the beginning. And I just... I can tell you now, I... What even is this? There's so many of them! Go ahead and try. I don't get it. What does it mean that they're all supposed to be stunned simultaneously? What's that supposed to mean? Why do they keep throwing destructo discs at me? Come on! This is, this is complete garbage. If I'm supposed to become a Super Saiyan for this, any indication, any indication would be better than the garbage that this game seriously just gave me. Get out of here. All of you, get out of here. Stop throwing me! Ugh. God damn. I seriously missed. Go. <sighs> oh my god. That is a terrible way to describe your mission. Oh. Oh man. Now it's it, it's all clicking. It's all clicking. Why this is. An outrageously frustrating, outrageously bad game. So okay, so I don't, I don't even get the actual fight with Cell before Goku is dead. That's it. I don't even get to fight the Cell Juniors as Gohan because I would take that at this point. I would seriously take that as a way to spice up this game. But it, it's, it's not. Attain Super Saiyan 2 mode and lock Key Blast with the outrageously powerful Cell. I will rule the universe. You can't beat me! Prepare to meet your demise. That's all you got? So can I... can I even... I mean, can I damage him yet? So you're telling me I start off as a oh oh so I can hit my way up there to maintain it. Interesting. I did not know that. Stop breaking my combos. You will all die. Have you had enough yet? <laughs> oh, this is gonna this is gonna take a while. Ow, stop! So basically, it's gonna be spamming the same combo until I can get to Super Saiyan 2. What's wrong with you? You're gonna have to do better than that! You okay. can Ow! Stop! No! Stop it! Garbage cell! Stop! Stop! And all that momentum that I had is gone. <sighs> In fact, they can't just start you out in Super Saiyan 2 form. It's pretty bogus. Oh, I didn't want to round out that combo. Come on. Come on, almost there. There we go. Is 
Let's get it! Finally! Ow. You don't scare me! So is this basically how it's gonna work? Am I just firing key blasts now until he dies? I feel like that's it. That whole locks key blast with cell thing, I feel like that's just garbage. Yeah, because lo look at this amount of damage that I'm doing. Oh no. No, give me that Senzu Bean. Give me that Senzu Bean. There we go. The fact that they don't even start it there is just... Oh, man. It's a terrible idea in the game. Terrible idea. So there's... their Cell spitting out 18. Here's Cell about to nuke the universe. Go on, you've got to use the Kamehameha to defeat perfect. So I am now permanently Super Saiyan 2. Was what was was that it? Was it just that anticlimactic? No actual No actual blast contest here? No, you know, having to spin the control sticks or anything. No mashing buttons. Uh, was that... That... That was seriously it. That was seriously... It. Well, I am definitely underwhelmed here. I am most definitely underwhelmed, and I'm pretty sure you guys are as well, so I am really, really sorry that the ending had to be that unbelievably lackluster. You know what? Pro Jared, you were right. This game... No, not, not, not worth it. Definitely not worth it. But, that is Dragon Ball Z Sagas, and... You know, I, I can't complain. It was a use of a few hours. I got some videos, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for watching this entire series. Um, it's been, it's had ups, it's had downs. It's been kind of fun. It's been not really fun at times, but, you know, it's a, it's a playthrough. It's something that we got out of the way, so I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked this episode and this entire series, be sure to click the like button down below. If you didn't click the dislike button, then let me know what you didn't like about the series, and I will be more than happy to improve it for the next one that we do. You know, I'm definitely going to try and play a, a little bit better of a game, one that's not going to be done in, like, four hours. So, you know, we'll delve something into that. We'll maybe go into, I don't know, a Budokai Tenkaichi game, or Xenoverse, or a, I've had Dragon Ball Z Infinite World on my radar, so that one could always be a possibility as well. So, um... Yeah, if you guys have any recommendations as well for our next series, please put them in the comment section down below. I would love, love, love to see what you guys have to suggest. You know, I do all these videos for you, and I'm definitely interested to see what you guys would come up with. Also, if you guys haven't already, click the subscribe button down below so that you can follow all of our other series like these. And also check out our social media links, which are down in the description. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Uh, so please do come by and hang out with us, chat, like, comment, subscribe, and whatnot. Uh, we would love to interact with you guys and hang out, and it would most definitely be a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and let uh, the credits roll here. Uh, this has been it for our playthrough of Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Um, it's been overwhelming at times, it's been underwhelming at times. But on the whole, I, I don't know if it was amazing or anything. It really wasn't. I don't know if I'd recommend it to anyone. Um, it, it's okay. It's okay, most definitely. So that's going to do it for this. We're going to see what we've got here. I'll save out the game one last time so that we're all done. 
Uh, and that is pretty much going to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching this entire series. I am Eric with Team Badman signing out. And like always, guys, stay bad. I will see you guys in the next series. The, he the hell the hell is pendulum what in the world is pendulum oh oh whoa that's that's broly <laughs> full on Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. And I mean, his textures look like garbage. Absolute garbage. But I really don't care. Look at him go! Look at him go! Look at him go! Yeah, we get the blaster shell. And let me see it. Let me see it. I remember Pro Jared mentioning this. Please, please tell me it's true. Okay, so I can still hit them. Can still hit them, because I remember him mentioning something about not being able to hit them, and it was hilarious. Oh, there it is! There it is! My kicks barely hit them. Okay, yeah. Uh, no lie. That, uh, that blast meteor is the best looking of any of the energy attacks that I've seen so far. But now, I, I'm just curious, why, why is this mode called Pendulum? You want to make any Dragon Ball Z game better? You want to make it better? You throw in the legendary Super Saiyan. Even if his character in the movie was completely one-dimensional and just, on the whole, terrible. Just the fact that you get to go around as the biggest, meanest dude in the universe and you can just blow things up like this. Okay. Okay. This, this to me was worth it after all the frustration the main story mode put me through. I'll teach you a lesson, fool. So no, this is fine. Bring it! <laughs> I don't care. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. You can float around all you want. It's gonna be blowing you up here with blaster shells. Come on. Stop! Just gonna float here and just do flips, cause you know Broly's favorite fa blah, Broly's favorite pastime, doing flip kicks. Broly DLC for dive kick confirmed. Man, it's like he really never runs out of key. And having that having that extra level of charge is so fast. There we go. Oh, this is too cool. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There we go. Get punished. If I can't kill Kakarot, then I'll kill his brother. It's a perfect description. It's a perfect idea. <laughs> oh, man. Man. I don't regret looking at this pendulum mode one bit. Alright, so I believe that's finally going to do it for this playthrough of Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Uh, some of the, you know, post-game content is kind of cool, but I don't know if it's really enough to redeem the game from being frustrating, um, linear... And just, uh, I don't, I don't know. I've got, I've got nothing. It was both underwhelming and really frustrating at the same time. So, I mean, if you're really feeling ambitious enough to play it, go on ahead and play it. Otherwise, I don't really know if I would recommend it. Um, but that's basically going to do it. You guys know the spiel. I am out. This is Eric with Team Badman. I'm signing out for the last time. Like always, stay bad. Now, we'll see you guys in the next playthrough.